Hi guys. Hey. Hello. Who are you? I'm James. I'm RJ. Yeah, people make it complicated, like they'll spell like A-R-E-J-Y. So, you guys are a band. What's your band name? Divine by Night. What do you say? Can you tell me a brief history of how this band was formed? You're up to bat player. Alright. Pretty much, it came together actually through like us being in various bands through like our two different lives. And we ended up just meeting up together because uh, one of our other friends, Alex, who's the bass player for the band, ended up uh, finding him on Facebook. And then... You know, that all happened in 2014. Fast forward to like 2015, we just decided, all right, let's just forget everything else and form our own things since we have the same goal and then we formed Divine by Night pretty much. So Divine by Night, through like all the members and stuff that are in it, just came from a bunch of various bands that had like failed in the past or just didn't get along with creatively. So we just formed our own thing. And um, where exactly did your band name even come from? Chipotle. <laughs> I just thought, I was sitting at Chipotle and I was like, you know what, Divine by Day, no, Divine by Night. And I sent it to the guys in the group chat and they were like, that's tight. So Sounds there's like cool. no special meaning, you just want something that's really cool. Has a ring to it. Outside of music, do you guys have any hobbies, obsessions, or activities that you enjoy, either separately or together, just as friends? I mean, for me personally, I like, uh, besides just recording our music, I like recording other people's music. Um, just messing around with mixing and mastering, and I fucking love trains. Trains. Trains are shit. Model trains, real trains, all forms of trains. Trainage. Yeah. Trainage. For me, it's like anime, um, finding like, I guess, just different types of music. Like, reading manga too. Like, I didn't realize I actually liked reading until I found adult books that have pictures and it just happen to be manga. So, I'm still a minor child, I need something to look at. It's just fun. I like that stuff. I don't know, I don't have too many hobbies. Like, music is my hobby, really, but it's also, like, what I live by, so... It's hard to f separate that from other things, but it's really all I know and all I've done for, like, the last, like, eight years. What super superhero or characters from any TV or comics duos are you guys comparable to? Like, who's anyone's Batman to Robin or any anything like that? Um, I mean, this dude's my boy, Wonder. Yeah, I'm definitely Robin. I make so many dumb jokes. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about that, man. I think I'm too much. You got this chin like that, man. Though. <laughs> it's too far I can out. see it now, buddy. <laughs> now. <laughs> oh, he's way taller too. I'm the short one in the band. Yeah, like, I am the shortest one. So definitely. Sometimes he wears green spandex. I do. That's my other hobby too. I just wear green spandex whenever I feel like it. I'm wearing it right now, but you can't see it. Who's the top and who's the bottom? Uh, I'm definitely a power bottom. Gotcha. <laughs> we can cut that one out. <laughs> I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> I don't know if I'd be a good top, actually. <laughs> I have to think about this. I feel like bottom, that's where like the stronghold is. All right. It's the foundation. It's the foundation. <laughs> it's the core. That's you gotta have a strong core or else the whole thing will collapse. How's your um your fans? Like do you guys have a big fan following? Any fan, you know, fan girls? Have you guys experienced any of that? Oh man. Uh, I mean we're kinda like just getting into it. We have a few people that are following us for sure that we can definitely definitely recognize. Don't wanna don't really want to name drop anyone though. <laughs> I mean, but it's cool though. It's really yeah. humbling because we didn't expect like any reaction really, or at least the ones that we've gotten now. People seem to really like it, and I'm, I'm happy with that. Yeah, because we just want to put out music, and people like it. We're definitely a newer band starting out, so the fact that we've had two singles, then an EP that come like that just came out, and we already have people that are really digging it. That's definitely awesome, and humbling for sure. Yeah, we really appreciate everyone like taking the time to like check it out. It's super humbling to hear all like the kind words people say. And just the honest opinions too, whether they're like good or bad, everyone's been super supportive of that thing. What other bands do you aspire after? I mean, a lot of the stuff we bonded on was uh, Our Last Night, Beartooth, Metallica for sure. Yeah. Um, I don't know, anything really kind of heavy, but we do like, I mean, we do like stuff outside of like metal and hard rock, like Katy Perry, The Weeknd, a bunch of others like, oh, Rebecca Black. Apparently she came out with like an EP. Yeah, her new EP is hot fire. 
definitely a step up on Friday. For sure. Yeah. So what is stuff. your actual genre that you identify as? Like, if you were to just use a simple combination of words to sum up your sound. I would say, I mean, easy to relate to, just hard rock, but then kind of going a bit more specific, I'd say alternative metal, maybe. Yeah, like hard rock with metal influence, just really driven music. So, any fun or interesting stories about the process of filming any of your three music videos that I've seen on YouTube so far? Yeah, I mean, I, not necessarily in the order that we put them out, but the order that they were made. Each one became easier over time, which was awesome. The, the video shoot for Homes was the first one that we kind of went after, and that was lots of coordination, months of planning, and within one day it all went to shit. It totally was, did. Yeah, it totally did. I mean, we, you know, we kind of scout out this location. Uh, it was about 40 minutes away from us. We decided to load up a van with a bunch of, you know, lighting gear, camera gear, amps, pretty much everything. We got there. It turns out there was a tree blocking the road to where we kind of wanted to pull in and, you know, let's say, uh, go through the gate to. Um, so that ended up turning into us moving a solid van, two vans full of gear. gear. Like um, water, generators, water, lights, kit. our guitars, yeah, yeah, full drum kit, stuff like that. And it, the thing was is that if that tree hadn't been there, it may have been like half a mile walk, but it ended up being like a mile walk to where we needed to get. And that's through like mud, like dirt, like rocky roads and stuff like that, which doesn't sound too bad, but when you're making like, at, at, it took like three hours for us to get there, and we only ended up filming for about 20 minutes or stuff like that. But those two takes we did were some of the coolest things, like best shots we could have. It was a super cool location, but it's just lesson learned. Don't bring everything you think you need to a shoot, aside from water, your guitars, and a drone kit. Yep. Plan out a little bit better. Yeah, that was, uh, that was fun. I stepped on a nail too, a rusty nail, like before the video, because where we filmed it was like the roofs had come down and stuff, and there were boards everywhere. And this guy was like, watch out for boards, and sure enough, like three minutes later, just Bleh. So, later that night, I had to get a tetanus shot, but during the, the video shoot, there I am, like, jumping around stuff, and I'm, like, like slowly bleeding through my foot. Pretty metal. <laughs> yeah. You can't tell, but I was in a lot of pain. But, yeah, it's fun. That's just the fun of it. Like, the struggle, honestly, is what made it worth it. Like, it totally made it fun and worth it. Like, I would do it again. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Was there anyone else like at the shoots that is? Do you guys have any like particular friends that are like fans, but they just really support you guys, help you guys out, and are there even though they're not in the band? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, our close friends definitely help us out. We had a few people come out to the shoot, which made it a little bit easier, just with moving, moving all the gear, yeah. and then um, coming out to a few of the other shoots as well. I mean, that definitely that helped out with. Just to be moving the load. If it was just the four of us playing and our our camera guy, that would have been a very, very miserable day. We had about three or four other people there. Yeah. Kind of moving stuff along. So there's a lot of work and effort that goes into just setting up to get ready for a shoot. Yeah. Like lights, camera stuff, just making sure like the lighting's perfect, making sure everything's powered, we have enough water, um, like you have to have like a speaker in order to hear the music so that when you're on time you can have something to reference to sync up to it too. Like there's there's a lot that goes into it. You don't just set up and play. It's it's this ton of work. Or if you're just trying to get pumped up to, to do um like to shoot, even just doing anything live, like do you guys have a specific hype man in the band that always pulls everything together for everyone else? It kind of depends. If it's kind of just on a whim out of like sheer say stupidity or randomness, probably this guy. Yeah, like I'll get everyone together and be like, all right guys, if we mess up, it's jazz. And then we're like, sick, all right, let's do it. We're actually pretty calm people up until we need to get hyped for stuff. Like, yeah, the adrenaline hits as soon as we get on stage and stuff like that, and it just goes from there. If it's more like serious hype, I guess, or trying to get people in line, that's I'm kind of like the dad of the band. Yeah. We're all I kind of sitting there shaking his head. Yeah, and like you know, everyone else. they're acting, <laughs> trying to, you know, they're doing stuff. I'm like, guys, come on, let's get things done. So just like, dude, what are we doing? Yeah, so trying to get them in line is always a fun challenge. Yeah, I, it just depends on the situation. Like, we're just excited to play all the time and just do anything, really. Yeah, it's like we're up there doing what we love. 
small or if we ever do get big, like we're still gonna feel the same about it, you know. What about your one music video, Worthless to Me? You said like that was close to your house or, or um what about like where did that house come from? How did you guys end up I don't know, I was just personally curious about yeah. that because it was like my favorite video to watch. Yeah, well, we've gotten a lot of comments about that one. It's like, where'd you find this house? Who let you poor house? It? <laughs> yeah, poor house. Poor house. I mean, not giving away too much location, but it was it was pretty close to where I live. Um, and I knew the old the person who was renting the house and they kind of just up and left one day. And so, I mean, of course, kind of over months and months, just looking at the house, I was like, no one's been there, you know, maybe if we kind of just go back there and maybe shoot a video, it could be fun. We were joking so, about it too for like the longest time. Yeah, and then we just decided like, hey, we should shoot a video for this one song, and we're like, well, it's, you know, a couple minutes away, Why not? let's set up shop, and be like, I mean, we like, we went in there before, and the house was already kind of disheveled, it wasn't a pretty looking house, so we just figured, hey, let's break some more stuff, why not? We went and bought stuff from Ikea too. Yeah, we bought glass, went to Goodwill. I went to Home Depot glass. to like stain some of the wooden chairs too because it was just like bare wood and we wanted to make everything look different too. That is artsy. That's cool. Yeah. I saw like, I like all of the lighting you guys use and the colors. Oh yeah, I mean, we have to give a shout out to Colin. He's the one who kind of came up with some of the storyboards for some of the videos. And then, I mean, he's definitely his artistic director with him too. Like, we literally couldn't have done this without him. That he's, I like the direction he went, just smash stuff. It's yeah. a really good decision. Did he just uh, help you guys with that one video or all of them? I mean, he did he did all of the all of the music videos he did and then our the boy Pez did uh, the music videos. Oh, I met Pez. Yeah. You work with Pez, right? I yeah, I, I went in Pez. there asking if you were there just because I was at Cosmo Pro. Oh really? He, yeah, he was I, and then I talked to him. It was like last week. Uh <laughs> so you guys, you know, working with people that you know are all musicians pretty much because you work at a place where like you, you sell music equipment and everything is it just like the best place to to um really promote yourself and like to to fall into this community i'd say it's like almost half and half yeah as far as customers go i don't really promote our stuff that much because i don't want to like, you know, sell them something or whatever and be like, also, check out my band, Divine My Night, you know what I mean? Yeah. But as far as co-workers go, like, everyone that works at Guitar Center does something musical. Yeah, at least at least with the one I work at, with most of my co-workers, we're all super creatively different. So, I mean, they'll throw, like, small jabs, you know, like, at our music and whatnot, just because it's, it's the fun thing to do. But, I mean, they check it out. In terms of, like, other people, I try to make a point to not move our music, yeah. Um, unless I literally get asked a direct question about it, like if I play in a band or anything, then of course I'll answer that. But I won't go out of my way to try and slip it into conversation or like promote our stuff. Yeah. Personally, for me, work is work. If I'm there to work, I'll work. If someone asks if I play in a band or whatever, then I'll be more happy to tell them about it. But I won't just shove it down people's faces. No, if I'm off the clock, that's a little bit different. But yeah, if I'm on the clock. It's like I, I gotta be professional. That's I'm gonna work not like promote my band. Along the plans of like your band, is there anything that you're releasing soon or ha have been coming out with that you wanted to talk about? Yep, we uh, released our debut single "Worthless to Me" um, back in May. Same with our second single "Homes." We just released our debut EP "Divide," which should be down there in the description. Power bottom. Somewhere. Um, and through the rest of the summer and the rest of the year, we'll have um, videos and content um, supporting supporting the EP, whether it be like lyric videos, music videos, maybe some acoustic stuff, maybe a cover song, who knows? Um, and then of course we'll be taking next year as well. Yeah, having some new some new music out, hopefully another EP, maybe. You know, yeah, it just uh, depends on how awesome. much we get done. Really. Yeah, we're we're definitely motivated though with all the responsibility. Yeah, we got a lot of cool stuff coming out, so be on the lookout for that. How about merch? I mean, I was just curious. I don't have to put it in there. Oh, like, yeah. Um, I mean, I'm sure when this video comes out, we'll still be doing giveaways. We have a bunch of stuff from, I'd say, maybe about last year that we're literally just giving away on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Um, mostly just trying to 
hopefully get people interacting with us. Um, we, you know, we love to respond to comments, DM us, you know, follow our personal pages. Uh, so we give away shirts, bracelets, you know, maybe some CDs um, just throughout the next couple of months. We like free stuff yeah. for your band. Yeah, just free stuff. You know, we'll pay for shipping. We'll ship it out to you. You know, just uh, just get active on our pages and ask us questions. You know, if you're a musician, tell us what gear you use. Ask us what gear you use. Yeah, we're super we're down to earth. Us. We will talk to anyone about anything. Yeah, I mean, he'll talk to you about trains. He'll talk to you. Yeah, dude. If you want to talk about trains, yeah, dude, Thomas. <laughs> Uh, but then we're working on new merch designs right now. Hopefully we'll have a store up. We don't really have an ETA yet, but definitely, definitely soon. We do have some cool stuff on the Yeah. Cool. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, nice shameless plugs. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram. Sub sub subscribe on YouTube. All linked below. Yeah, all links down below. Let me tell you. Or don't. Totally up to you. Awesome. If you like Kylie, subscribe to her channel. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Kylie. She's awesome. All right, guys, thank you so much. Excellent, thanks. Stay epic. Bye.